Welcome back to another episode of the Everyday Joy Podcast. I'm your host, Ash Couchman, and I cannot wait to find moments of joy with you today. I am so excited to dive into this week's episodes. So let's dive into the Word of God. First Corinthians 15.57 But thanks be to God, He gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Now I have the wonderful Jenny with me today. Yeah, so kind. We always joke whenever we're in this podcast that I go, Jenny, this is the first time I've seen you in like three months. <laughs> but for the last two weeks, we've been able to work very closely together, very which closely. has been lovely. Jenny was helping us over our like fundraising campaign for the light. Um, and so we got to work out and yeah. work out. We got to work. <laughs> and I think I just combined work and hang out. So I said we just got to work out together. It's a new word now. <laughs> So we got to hang out and it was so great to get to see it you was. a little bit more. It was same studio, same everything. I know. You're like, we just can't get out of the studio. It's our home now. But it's great. Now, you and I are both musical theatre fans. We've mm. discussed this before. Mm-hmm. I went and saw Wicked um, over the weekend. You have also just recently seen yes. it. In like 30 seconds, thoughts, feelings, opinions. I cried. I loved I laughed. I think I cried more. I cried <laughs> and I cried. It was just, it filled my it. heart. It was I so feel like good. it did the musical justice. Yes, 100%. But also it gave you a fresh look on everything as well. Like the music was freshened up. I just, I, I was sobbing throughout the whole time. Yeah. I was like hitting Kev like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Did Kev go with you? Yes, he did. Oh my goodness. It was our first musical together Stop. about 12 years ago. So I've been waiting for 12 years for this movie. Oh my gosh. That's like the best. Good. I can't wait to watch oh it. Oh my again. goodness. I'm so glad. Well, if you know, if you're a musical theatre fan, you will not be disappointed. So we I feel like it's I always find it really fun when a musical comes out on like T V mm-hmm. or in the movies or it kind of goes viral, like a song will go viral on TikTok or Instagram. And I'm like, guys, this is the theatre. Yes. I was like, this isn't something new. I was like, it's it's musicals. But anyway, this verse love in one Corinthians fifteen, verse fifty seven. But be thanks to God. He gives us victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Man, I love this verse. Right? Something that my parents kind of always said to me was when I was worried or when I was stressed, I was like, Ash, you don't need to worry. Like, God already knows. Like, he's already ahead. He's already got this. Like, you don't need to stress. And I think this verse reminds me that in everything, mm. God has the victory. Yeah. You know, in the tough, in the easy, in the in the fun, in the hard, mm. to actually at the end of the day go, you know what? God's got it. Yeah. There is victory through Jesus. And and look, ultimately, this verse is referencing that at the end of the day, we have victory over sin through Jesus. That's mm-hmm. what it's that's what this verse talks about. Yeah. It says because Jesus died on the cross for us, we can have victory over sin, over death, yes. over worry, over fear, all those things. That's what this verse is talking about. And I love at the start that it goes, be thanks to God. It's yes. like, oh my goodness, <laughs> this is amazing. And it says, give, and he gives us victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. And I think it's so incredible to me and it really humbles me mm-hmm. that this this picture of the cross and, and, and the story of Jesus dying on the cross I spoke about it the other day at church. It actually kind of comes up again as we head into Christmas time. You know, we yeah. we remember Jesus being born at Christmas time, but it kind of it's like it's the beginning of that road to the cross basically when we when we're at Christmas. And so I think this verse it's so appropriate for this time as we kind of look to Christmas, we look to Easter. It's like God figured it out for us. Yeah. Not because we necessarily deserved it but because he loves us so, so much. And it's this beautiful picture of going, oh my goodness, we can be so joyful and thankful in this Mm. season because it's the beginning of the road to this beautiful victory that God has given to us through Jesus dying on the cross. Yes, 100%. I love that. I love your description of it. For me, it's the but thanks be to God. It's kind of like nothing else matters, Yeah. but thanks be to God. And being thankful for God in your hard times, now that's really tough. But being thankful for him in your good times, that's easy. But I think thanking God in every situation, good, bad, mediocre, like when you're lukewarm, I think that's when we start to forget. we got to thank God for everything, Mm -hmm. every little thing, because 
the moment that we wake up to the moment we go to sleep, it's all thanks to God. Because yeah. he's, he's known all this. He yep. gave this to us. Even though we may not have liked it, he's, he was there. Mm-hmm. And everything will bring victory. To- it reminds me of um, we did like a week of episodes on the book of James, like a bit of a Bible study. Mm. And one of the scriptures is that verse that says every good and perfect gift comes from God. And that's such a beautiful verse because often it's used at like weddings yeah. or when we have um, children or whatever it is. It's like this beautiful image of like a physical gift that God's given us. But something that reading James really reminded me is It was a reminder for people to go, when life's hard, when you don't see the victory, when things aren't looking the way you wanted them to, you need to remember, but thanks to God. Like you need to remember, but every good and perfect gift comes from God. It's almost a moment, like you said, of remembering, even when it's rough, you need to think to the things that have been good and thank God for Mm. them because everything good in our lives has come from God. So it's a good reminder for us when we feel off or down or we're struggling Mm. to go but thanks be to god like here's what's tough but thanks be to god and it can be challenging we're not saying that it's easy because i know i've been through times and i tend to find hindsight makes thanking god Mm -hmm. easier because you go oh god i could see how you were at work there sometimes we're in the middle of it it can be a bit more difficult but all in all i think i truly believe this verse is showing us that god just wants us to acknowledge him and thank him and and worship him for who he is you know it's it's that reminder of going god's given us the victory yeah. through jesus so let's thank him let's be grateful let's acknowledge him in all of this yes i absolutely love that and i feel like i'm right in that middle of that season yeah. of just thanking god thanking every single day because every day has been a challenge it's been a blessing it's been a roller coaster it's been everything and so i'm a little bit nervous sharing this because it's been a little secret that we've been hiding. But I really want to thank everyone here on the Everyday Joe podcast, all the community, because of the love and the prayerful thoughts and the messages. And so that's my first thing that I want to say is thank you guys, because if it wasn't for your prayers, I wouldn't be able to make this announcement today. Now, it's not a scary announcement. It's a good <laughs> announcement. All right, Ash is looking at me going, what's going on? What's going on? Um, but thanks be to God he gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Mm. Christ and this announcement I'm about to make I cannot wait to say it (laughs) come on I'm just teasing I'm just teasing (laughs) alright I'm officially 21 pregnant today 21 weeks pregnant sorry I just threw that out (laughs) goodness so just a quick recap for those who (laughs) haven't been following around uh, Kev and I have been through a long IVF journey Um, so we had our little Chelsea three years ago and she was through IVF this time round in June just before our June fundraising campaign we had an embryo transfer um, and that failed so obviously that really brought us down and that was one of the hardest hardest appeals that we had to go through but this time round a few weeks after the campaign we're like okay God you've got this you totally got this. We have to we have to depend on you again. We will always depend on you. And I said to God, I don't know how I will survive if this doesn't work, but I know you're going to pull me through it. I know you're going to pull me through it. And I said, you have to drag me through it, God. I don't care how much mud I have to go through. You will drag me through it and I will follow you to the ends of the earth. So we did that one last embryo transfer. So this embryo was same batch as Chelsea. And it all worked out and it's been a journey on its own. I've had intense morning sickness. I still have morning sickness. And because this child's placenta is at the back, it means I feel every kick, every movement. Um, And being pregnant and being a mum to a toddler, oh my God goodness this is another like type of strength <laughs> i never thought i had so I, I i apologize for all the mothers who have been through this um i'm sorry i wasn't there for you i want to be there for you now if i can turn back time but it's been hard wow. but it's been so fruitful like it's been a lot of fun talking to chelsea about it and just sharing it with mm. other people because I hear the joy because they know what we've went through. Yeah. They've been through it. They've been praying for us. And so today on this Monday, 
I hope I get to be able to bring you some joy to I say know. thank you oh. for praying for us. And I love that when you were sharing with me earlier, you're like, it literally is a thanks be to God moment. Yeah. You're like, oh my goodness, God is crazy and he's so good. And I remember months ago when we'd recorded an episode and I think you guys had just maybe done the transfer. Mm-hmm. And I remember you you were talking to me and you were like, Ash, I'm just so nervous. You were like, I remember you had this beautiful kind of, I trust God, Mm. but man, I'm scared. And like the emotions of that season coming up again. And I remember we prayed and we probably cried a little bit. And I just think it is so cool to see one that you were able to press into God in that season where you could have easily just been like, God, this is too much. This is too hard. This is too, this hurts too much. But you've actually been able to go, no, like, thanks be to God. Like, this is an incredible, incredible story of victory over that situation absolutely and i wouldn't have done this if it wasn't for god i wouldn't have gone through this without the amazing support of prayer i'm always hampering on prayer because it means that you're spending time with god your precious time with god and you're talking about me my situation someone that you may not have met that you listen to stories time and time again Mm -hmm. over these last few years on the podcast it just means the world to us that we're able to celebrate this in victory together. Mm. Um, and I cannot wait to share all the new motherhood again, all Incredible. the newborn days again, but it's going to be fun. So exciting. Oh my goodness. This, the story that you just shared is such a beautiful picture of that moment of thanks be to God. He gives us victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. And it's such a joyful moment, you know, Mm -hmm. to be able to go that feeling of joy and excitement around this season of going, God, like you literally deserve all the glory. Like sometimes it takes time. Sometimes there's a waiting period before that moment. And so if you're in that too, whether it's a similar journey to Jen, maybe it's a season where you're just struggling and you're waiting on God to, to bring you out of that season keep thanking God, keep glorifying him, keep trusting in him because there is a moment, whether it's what you planned or whether it's what God has planned for you, there will be a moment of thanks be to God. What a fantastic piece of news from the beautiful Jen. We are so excited for her. Make sure you send her a whole lot of love over on the Everyday Joy Facebook community group. I cannot wait to keep diving into the Word of God with you all week long. But until tomorrow, I pray you're able to find moments of joy. Mm